Welcome. Yo, welcome back to Fate. All right. So you're uh, empowered now, and you just get a gate back. You open up a gate. I'm just gonna plane shift back because I've got the spells for that. Plane shift back. Okay. It's like, all right, everybody, muster. We're heading out now. And so I we're it, he headed straight. I guess into the. the we're not going straight into the fortress. We're yeah. gonna. We're I'm outside. Gonna, uh, I'm gonna get. I'm, asking I'm gonna at nudge Colderax. Can you at least try for a staging ground? Not the fortress itself. Just somewhere where I can know where I'm going. Mm. I assume you've been there at least in that area before. A long time ago. It don't bore me with all that bone face. Can you do it? Uh, that's <laughs> a great question. Let me see if he can do it. What's he doing? I'm trying to see if he can scry so I can have a landing spot. Well, that's a good idea. That's a pretty good uh, roll. So he he thinks on it. I think so. Yes, and he kind of does the whole sky mirror magic thing showing up. Uh, and you see a, uh, a, a basically a snow-covered field area. Um, off to the right, as far as where you're looking, there is um, sort of foothills of mountains and a, a path that's kind of heading up into the mountains. Uh, does it look big enough for a little staging ground for 6,000 yes. troops? Yes, yes, it does. All right. Is everybody ready? Uh, yeah. no. They have to pack everything up. Get fucking ready! <laughs> and with a group this size, it takes... A couple say hours. It, it takes a couple of hours. Break down the tents! Um, <laughs> during that time, actually... Uh, Cart. You see a cart rolling out toward you from the city. Mm. Just saying, bring up Shadow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bring up Shadow. <laughs> Can we bring that guy with uh, us? I love him. No. <laughs> nice, nice reference, though. You got there a second before I did. Uh, no, it's a very, very uh, nice looking wagon. It is. Uh, Does our shit start glowing? There's like runes on it. Um, you do feel a little warmth. On oh, the, it's where the Spencer. Where the, where, where the stamp is and the person driving it, and there's it, it's not drawn by horses. I know it's, it's like a car. It's just powered. Yeah, it's it, it's like magically powered. Um, little does Sven he, know. He kind of rolls up. Fate. Hello. Hey, Sven. 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 I figured. Knowing what is happening, that you would uh, like to do some last-minute shopping. How long have you Yay! been? Yes. How far away are we from the city? We're, uh, we're a comfortable distance outside yeah. the city, almost I'm to gonna, the forest. I'm just going to offer him a drink. You look a little hours weary. Out, probably weary after your travel. Do you want a drink? Travels? No, no, no. My cart can teleport. <laughs> you, you still look weary. You, you want a drink? And look! And he like walks over to the side and he pushes the button and it like transforms into a shop. <laughs> Just like plop, I, plop, 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 yeah. and it's a building. I have mobile shop. <laughs> it is very nice. Agreed. Oh, I forgot. Do you have those things I asked about? Oh, yes. Uh, and he kind of hands you over these six medallions. Is it six? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I uh, turned all of you. Put it on. Put this on. Okay. Do I have to attune with it? Nope. No, it doesn't require attunement. What it does is anytime a fellow party member is dropped down to zero hit points, uh, it, it, alerts. it alerts you to that happening. Cool. And you'll know who it is and like a direction that they're where they are. Yeah. Oh, it'll actually not like tell us. a precise I thought, location. I thought it's we were gonna have to use the. Mercer. Yes, yeah. thank you, Mercer. I thought we were gonna use the microphones. Actually, to be like, thank hey, you, Jaffe. That was his idea. Oh, well, 
he allowed it. Yeah, true. <laughs> so <laughs> since since we can we can shop real quick, and it does say fate on the medallion. Oh, I just I I, 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 I smith these. Son, do you have any? Do you have any? You've been eating something gross. You smell bad. Do you have any magical <laughs> drinks? Smelly cat. Smelly cat. <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any magical alcoholic potions? Do you have any alcoholic potions? Can this be a thing? That is an interesting idea. I do not know. Is there any way you can work on some? Uh, yes. I think I think you should. Such as? Uh, anything that adds strength, or maybe makes you smarter, adds extra hit well, points. Well, you know, I do have one thing. Um, but it's got to be alcoholic. If you guys get this reference, kudos to you, online and you guys. I, I do have Shadow Banish wine. What the? Nope. Baldur's Gate. Oblivion. Ex explain. Wow. Ex explain, Sven. It it gives you. Uh, it gives you dark vision. Oh. I think we're all good on that. Except for Evander. Although none of you, you have mostly dwarves. Don't need that. It, it warms us up. What do you mean? <laughs> It's alcohol. Doesn't alcohol warm him up? Warm him up? Yes. Uh, well, it's technically, the chemistry on that is is against it warming you. It actually, makes it's you it's cold. it's more of a. Yes, but you feel. It's it's more <laughs> of an oil. It's more of an oil. You know I need you to up make me work. <laughs> no tea is far superior. Yes. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> no, really, you should uh, work on some some alcoholic drinks where uh, it'll add strength or maybe some some extra health or stuff. There are healing potions. Why would you? I need, need I need alcohol. Well, that is your bag does that. Yes. Yes, but I have to be able to drink alcohol. You can do them separately. I want to be able to have strength <laughs> potions that are alcoholic, so if I drink one of them, I have them forever. Ah, no. Why? No, that's me saying no. Why? Because <laughs> it's not how uh, it works. Because that's game breaking. It was a good idea. It is a good idea. Damn it. But no. <laughs> but no. Damn it. The voted back can't create Damn it. other magical effects other than the ones already described. Damn it. I might have to that limit that voted bag for the battle. No, <laughs> that's that's part of my well, that's part of my my power. It literally just gives me healing potions, and I get drunk, and I can give people death dancers, which might come in handy if I can trick them. <laughs> All right, congratulatory drink. Anything? Oh, I else? can take the potions. Is there anything you want? Well, actually, want to get from death death dancer. Dancer. <laughs> But it's a pretty distinct. Now ask poison. this question again. Do you have a sphere of annihilation? Yes. How much? It's not for sale. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Very dangerous item. It's just for you know, if everything else goes wrong, and we're all about to die, I'm gonna take everything else out with us. It's very dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're a bad person. <laughs> you should be happier, person. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if we have one of these either. But like a torch that, like you know, how we always have to light torches. Is there a torch that you can just always light? You're talking about an an, an ever burning torch. Yes, they and it can go out. I like hold my hand up. I hold my hand up and just. Torch. I, I have. Well, it would it would help for me because I have most, my, my most, blast. Uh, most most casters always, can create light in any way. I but I want one of those. I want one of those torches right now. Okay, it but is fifty gold yeah, for I'm an ever one. burning torch. Buy yes. one. Uh, what would the command word be for an ever burning torch? Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Lumos. Lumos. I like it. I like it. To turn go. it on, you you say Lumos. To right. turn it off, you say Nox. All right. <laughs> cool. Yes. Uh, I, I really, I really think it would come in handy. Just don't say Lumos or Maxima, or you'll burn off your eyebrows. <laughs> I don't have any eyebrows. <laughs> I don't have any eyebrows. Giant beard, no eyebrows. Yep, that's that's the underdark way. That's that's how the hipsters in the underdark roll. 
before. They did it before everything. Before yeah. it was cool. Yeah, because you couldn't see us. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever comes and hangs out with us, man. Uh, There's a reason for that. Wow. Just wow. Cool. I want one of those. Now I can do my thing whenever I want. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I just That's why I never can do it because I have to like light a torch. Now I just have one. You broke Thunderthorn in the last time. Yes, we did. I you you were gonna try and shop for a new sword. I was during the six month break. That's true. Okay, we'll handle that now. What are you looking into getting? Ice and death. <laughs> now I can ride. No, oh, no. and I need to you buy a barrel like to and, up and stuff. <laughs> sword sort of answering. <laughs> I need to buy a barrel. We don't have barrel anymore. Do you have a barrel that has like some like standing straps so I can sit in it and I can see over it, and I can tie it to M no. the barrel? Apparatus of Qualish. I have one of those. What's but that? No, <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's, it's a barrel it's that a, walks. It's a mech. It, it's a little like like bug looking. Yeah. Do you just have a barrel? Though? It's a tank. Is yeah. What it is. It's essentially a tank. Do you have yeah. a barrel? Yes. Do you have good stuff I can strap on to a uh, bear? Like like leather straps and things. Yeah, just a nice secure saddle sort of barrel. I suppose you could use things for that. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of those too. Okay, barrel is like you know one silver piece, so it's very cheap. Yeah, I'll give you like ten gold for it. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> is there such thing as a magical barrel, like a plus one barrel? <laughs> For reinforced. Reinforced barrel? Yeah. Like magically, yes, there are magically reinforced barrels. Yeah, yeah what kind you got? Uh, you're talking about like indestructible barrels? Yeah. Uh, yes, those are made of adamantine. Yeah, how much are they? Shit. 200? And uh, they are, you know, per barrel, 100 gold. How much they weigh? Adamantine's pretty light. Uh, Do you think a bear can handle like it being on its back? That one? Yes. <laughs> yep. We're buying one of those, too. And some strings and silly ceiling wax. What? Ceiling? Oh. S sorry, I'm doing Puff the Magic Dragon. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Throw references. Cool, now I, I literally go and strap that onto him. And I get into the barrel. Okay. <laughs> and just just giggling. Do you want a lid for the barrel? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, do you have something like maybe even like a lid that might have a periscope? You can buy a periscope. <laughs> can can you do can some? Hold. Can you do some magic real quick and attach the periscope like real quick? You seem like somebody. I yeah. suppose yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do that too. So that would be a total of five hundred gold. Cool. Uh, For the barrel lid and everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> it just has a barrel with a little bit of okay, cool. the back. I will, I will add, uh, if you make it to thousand, I will add a little fine touch to it. Uh, explain. It is a surprise. It's All a gamble. right. It's a gamble. Yeah, we'll do that too. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? And he, <laughs> he takes out one of his, his little... Uh, Technos pen things that he writes runes with, uh, and he, you know, he kind of goes. So we're going to take him very long to to do things. He has a few extra like little notes and things, <coughs> little runes around the ring and on the lid and everything. Uh, and it has a latch, right? Um, and you go to strap it in, and like you pull open the barrel lid, right, and like go in, and it's roomy. Oh, right. Extra dimensional <laughs> barrel. It's a, uh, it has, uh, like, room for three. It has room for like three or four people. It's got, it's got poofy uh, chairs, like, like comfy chairs. Can, um, can it have, really nice. no, no, really nice see, I'm, I'm totally making this, like, an awesome barrel for me to ride around in. Is there any way we can also add like a little like, kind of like a old style tank, like World War One tank, where it has like slots where maybe I can like close it and open it, maybe like shoot like magic out of it, or like 
<clears throat> shoot my bow out of it and stuff like that. So maybe That's I don't have to get no. where. No. Just get out, open the top, pretty much. You have to get up out of it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was better. I thought it was a good idea too. It has a ladder that goes down into it, and like the periscope. We could totally it's Trojan perfect. horse with this. Yeah. <clears throat> I I just wanted a comfy comfortable ride. I'm very slow. <laughs> Off to the side, and this was like a personal touch because he knows you. Uh, there is a moonshine like, distillery. A wet bar. There's a wet bar. Yes. Like, <laughs> with 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 crystal decanters and stuff like super <laughs> nice, super nice stuff. Cool. Um, that you can fill with whatever you want. So if Imps, it's all empty. Imps can it's all always, empty. Yeah. yeah. Imps, Imps, Imps can always like he can always wear it. Like it would just be sticking out from his yeah. back. Imps can't it. fit into it. No, um, too no. But, but everyone else can. Everyone else can. So <laughs> else I can take I can take it off and stuff like that. If Imps went out of right. bear form, which is impossible. If he went out of bear form, he 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 could probably squeeze into it. It would be really uncomfortable. Okay. Cool. But squeezing in, that's the only way. Which yeah. he I never have, have to buy a house. I don't house. think I've ever seen him out of bear form. Yeah, I don't think you have. You have like maybe twice. Well, yeah, because he got knocked out. Uh, right? Well, he can like he stays in bear form all the time. He stays in bear form even when he's unconscious. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't revert back. Okay. You can't. I guess you could. I could have it that way, but meh. Yeah. Cool. I like it. Cool. <laughs> uh, I made Imps an RV. <laughs> yeah. You he's, did. He's like, go into Vegas. You should get some satellite TV installed in that shit. No, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to spend all my money before it's I die. Scrying orb. <laughs> Dude, it's basically going to be our little, little bachelor pad. Too. It'll be good. We'll customize the shit out of it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Phil. I don't think there's anything else I need to buy. You are welcome. I'm going to go ahead and get in the barrel and just uh, hang out. Just hang out on top. <laughs> just your head sticking out the top. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you can. You just go all the way in. Yeah, I'm going to start filling up some bottles. Like, Close it and hang out. I'm just going to fill up some bottles. And you can hear, like, from what's going on outside. What's going on outside? Yeah. It's, it's not extra dimensional in the terms of true like, sense. It's a separate dimension. Uh, you can hear. It's just spaces. bigger on the inside. This is bigger on the inside. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. It's a target barrel. This is the, the coolest thing ever. This is knows. my. Uh, this is my custom dimensional space. Uh, so you can have bags of holding and stuff in it okay. without fear of awesome. ridiculous stuff. Olfkar puts his bag of holding down like, oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it won't explode and like suck everything around it into the astral plane. Hey, I'm well, still watching you, buddy. Yeah, the question <laughs> is, can I go inside and then cast rope trick? No oh, shit. <laughs> I Not that I ever would, but I, you, you can certainly try. Yeah, I can certainly That's try. That's a terrifying sentence. If you ruin that is a my terrifying tab. sentence. Yeah, I know. I have no intent of doing that, but <laughs> I have this really cool spell called Rope Trick. That was well thought out, that barrel, in under two minutes. So, Yes, it was. Anybody else going to buy shit? Potion. Oh, yeah, we're still waiting on Corey. We literally bought every Drugs single side. potion he had last time. How many healing potions do you have this time? It was like you three clerics. seven or eight. In case you're far away. Well, I, no, I have. I don't have any of the higher level potions okay. right now, but I do have regular healing potions. If you'd like some much? of those. I have a lot of those. They're very handy for like city card and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah. For healing. After scuffles and bar fights and the like. I assume I hired somebody to keep an eye on the shop while I'm gone. Yes, yeah, so you all have hired hands that actually run the shops that you own. Uh, because I'm not making up logistics for that. Not <laughs> happening. Was that built into our take? Uh, yeah, that's so the amount that you make is above board profit, like pocketable profit. Unless, of course, you know events transpire that you begin to do less less well <laughs> therein. 
can uh, so I don't have any of it right here. Can you run over what the health potions all do again? Yes. Uh, standard healing potions heal ten. Uh, greater healing potions heal twenty, I believe. Greater's uh, forty. I think forty-four plus four. Forty-four plus four. Uh, uh, superior. Corey's, Corey's got the book. I got it. Su it? Superior is eight D four plus eight, and I call the Ow. I call the awesome one. It, it's it heals six. It's supreme. Yeah. Yeah. I just put awesome because it's awesome. But all all he has is the ten. Okay. Um, uh, which is pretty much a, a healing word. He has a bunch of those. Though. Yeah. Well, then I'll take uh, ten of those. They're, they're like a silver. They're fifty gold. Fifty gold each. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take ten of those. Can I have a shit ton of empty vials? I have ten. I I can do that. Why? He's got a bag full of healing potions. I'm yes. just gonna pour some into the foils and. Over time, no, it doesn't work that way. Though. Oh. No, it's. That's not how that works. It does not work that way. They don't keep. Bowls. They don't keep. Yes. Sorry. Good. Interesting idea, but no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Worth a shot. I mean, they might last for you know a minute or so, but combat. Rude. Raiden being a jerk. Hey, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no he's fine. like, I'm going to wait until you're not looking. He's just, he's just, he's just cleaning. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and then he, like, bites and then he like, tackles chewing. and rolls over. Rosie likes it. He does, she does <laughs> when he's cleaning. Rosie likes it. When he's cleaning. This cock block is so weird. All, all right. <laughs> uh, you. You have ideas. Yeah, it's called Icing Death, right? Can I have a defender that does the same damage as, as Thunderthorn? A defender? What does the defender do? It allows you to... It's a plus three to attack and damage rolls. Okay. And it allows you to negate the bonus. Or you can use up up to all three of the bonus. And instead, on, on the first attack, add them to your AC. I see. Okay. So on a given round, the bonus can be on your AC or so your attack? Basically. Okay. So How yeah, much so much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Fifty two thousand gold. That's so so you're wanting essentially to have Thunderthorn become with, plus that with a defender ability on it. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh wait. It requires a tune, but so yes. the Thunderthorn does, yes, it doesn't does. it? No, no. The weapons don't require like a basic elemental weapon didn't require a tune, even up to the plus three. Yeah, let's see. I've got amulet of health, <coughs> speed, ring of protection, and my cloak of displacement. Yeah. Okay. Um. You want icy death? I think the frostbrand sword actually does require a tune, though. Which is basically the, what icing death is. To get the uh, fun idea. ice or the okay. fire resistance. So, you had talked to Sven about this. He had been kind of looking into a, what? New, a new sword to replace Thunderthorn. A necromantic sword? Um, and he pulls out this sword that is. Uh, I tried to take the it. Blade Just kidding. Is I'm in the barrel. Yeah. Crimson. Oh, that okay. is. It's not. Not a Vorpal Sword? It's not like Carrot Claw or anything like that. Uh, which would be rad. Yeah. Oh gosh. I didn't even, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even think to ask for that. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! That's a terrifyingly sentient weapon. Um, that will literally swallow you whole. <sighs> This sword, now, Thunderthorn did 1d... It, it, 1d6 of uh, slashing damage and 1d6 yeah. of element. He just doesn't want to make a whole new chart. So it'll do 1d6 <laughs> slashing, as per usual. It'll do 1d6 necrotic damage that you Which gain drug? as Skittles. temporary hit points Okay. until yeah. the uh, short rest or... Until you hit with it again, or until they're, you know, 
So, for example, if you hit something with it, and you do of like with the necrotic damage, if you do four damage, right, mm -hmm. you would get four temporary hit points. Okay. So it's like and the vampiric dagger. It's like the vampiric dagger. Okay. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't I'm, stack up a bunch I'm, of health. I'm not going to say that it will recover. Well, actually, it's not a super crazy amount. So, so six is. If you are, let's do it this way. If you are lower than maximum health, right, then it will heal you the amount of necrotic damage that you deal. Okay. Uh, if it is. If, if you, you are, are at full health, then it just gives you temporary hit points for whatever that amount is. Okay. And if you hit again and you haven't taken any damage yet, then if the new roll is higher, you'll gain the the difference. Okay. Right? But so like it'll go up like to it'll go up to six up pretty to much. Six, yeah. Okay. Is that gonna be like limited to like once per round or any time I hit? Because if it's, if it's my primary hand, that's twice per round. That'd be twice per round. That it, you take a lot of damage. Yeah, like a lot of. You damage. get up in people's faces and get hit. Grant, I'm yeah, I'm I'm going so to be a little more difficult. Too. Every time you hit, but yeah, I will say, let's let's do this. So normally it does necrotic damage, right? Yeah. You can activate its ability to heal you, and it lasts for a minute. So you get ten rounds of life stealing. Okay. Because what we can do for now, I think, though, is try it out that way and see if it's too underpowered. Um, if it is, then we can always tweak it later. Hmm. So, <clears throat> that being done. Again, I think everyone's ready. And we're out of time. And we're out of time. And we're out of time. So, 